what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Angie and I have a one-year-old daughter named Bella so for today's video I wanted to do a 10 things I wish I knew before having a baby so the first one is I never realized having a shower would become a luxury there are just some days where I would be lucky enough if I'm able to brush my teeth and comb my hair and put myself together because it's just one of those days. I know you mamas out there totally get me. So yeah, I'll be lucky if I have a shower. So two, I would be one of those crazy moms that would end up smelling their kids' butts. I always wondered what the heck are those mamas doing what are what are they even doing like why would they even be doing that out in public but really I've become one of those moms where it's like all of a sudden you have this little sniff or a whiff of something and I just had the urge to want to smell Bella's butt just to make sure she's not the one with the poop in her diaper so number three along the lines of poop I never thought that I would be one of those people so into it. I want to know what color it is, how much there is, the consistency of Bella's poop, and I think my husband thinks I'm crazy. But I don't know, from all my years of working as a teacher as well, like we know that looking at poop is also one of the things that gives you an idea of like if a kid is sick, they'll have more of like a runny poo and it has a foul they will have a runny poo and it's a little bit more smelly. I don't know, I'm sure a lot of you ECEers out there would totally understand what I'm talking about or other mamas out there, but yeah. Like that's why you always wanna know about your kid's poop, just so you're on top of it. And number four, I never knew that I would never be alone again in the bathroom. Whenever I go to the bathroom, no matter what I'm doing in there, Bella is not far behind me and you know as comfortable as I am with her sometimes when I'm doing my business I just need the privacy but she can't wait outside or else she'll be banging on the door or screaming her little heart out so yep I've always got a bathroom buddy number five I never knew that I would appreciate Bella's naps so much she naps for about an hour and a half and two hours to two hours and that time I actually get to kind of sit down and put my feet up and just take a breather and of course I only do that for maybe like 15 minutes or so and then I'll go back to doing other tasks around the house but man her nap time is like gold number six Getting food, boogers, and other fluids, such as vomit on you, is just going to happen. There's like no way of fighting it. No matter how many times you try to change your clothes or avoid it, it's going to happen. So why fight it? Number seven, talking about poop, farting, and vomiting is everyday conversations in a parent life. So. I think a lot of parents don't get grossed out anymore about all that stuff because I know I don't. It's just as if asking me, hey, what's your favorite color? It's the same thing. Like, hey, guess what? My kid farted on me or guess what? My kid threw up all over me. It's going to happen. So I guess eventually you just get used to it, which is what happens to a lot of people. Number eight. I never thought that I would appreciate and love my grocery shopping time. Going to the store alone, just me and my shopping cart and my grocery list, wandering Walmart is just heaven. I don't know. It's just relaxing, I guess. And I always look forward to it every week. Is that sad? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But either way, I really like my alone time when I go grocery shopping. Number nine. Everyone will have an opinion of how to raise your own kid. I mean, you can always take everyone's advice just with a grain of salt because you know, everyone has something to say, but at the end of the day, that is your child and you do what is right for you or what you feel is right for you because they're with you every single day and you know them inside and out. So 
whatever you got to do, raise them however you see fit because you are the parent and no one else. Number 10. Okay, saving the best for last. This is probably going to be hard to admit when I was younger, but my parents, they knew everything all along. They were right. Everything that they ever said to me, I mean, as a stubborn teenager, oh good lord, that is the stage I am worried about. But anyways, they were always right. And because of that, I truly appreciate them so much more. And I know whatever they said to me, then it was always coming from love and from their own life experiences. And just, I don't know, I think everyone out there should give their mom and their dad big hugs and tell them that you love them and thank you. Because I think a lot of kids forget to say thank you to their parents because they've sacrificed a whole lot and they've done so much and I think once you become a parent you realize all of these things I mean I always knew what my parents did for me but after having my daughter I am like 20 times more grateful than how I was before so show some love to your parents they did a great job raising you loving you and always being there for you and I hope one day when Bella is older she will be able to tell me thank you mommy and just tell me how much she loves me and appreciates everything I've done for her so yeah that was my 10 things I wish I knew before having a baby if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notification on so you know whenever I post new videos as well as leave a couple comments down below if you want just to tell me about some things that you realize after having a baby or something you've learned. So I hope everyone has an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!